to watch Jerusalem, not for your father's appearance, but for the appearance of the Antichrist. Uh, you might say, well, you're, you know, you're reading a lot into that. Well, really I'm not, because I know what the fast of the tenth month is. Do you? You say, you were warned to know it. Uh, therefore, I think it, it, I think it imperative that we take this morning and go into the fast of the tenth month. Won't you turn to the 24th chapter of Ezekiel with me, please? This is a parable. Ultimately, learn the parable and understand that that is approaching. Ezekiel chapter 24 and verse 1, And again, in the ninth year, in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, write thee the name of the day. Even this same day, the king of Babylon, who? The king of Babylon set himself against Jerusalem this day. How many times did we say this day in that verse? How many times did the Father? There are three times. That's for emphasis. Our Heavenly Father does not mamby-pamby or waste words. He mentioned mark this day three times for a very special reason. He wanted you to know this was important. It was a solemn time set aside. Now, listen closely and do not let this throw you. The prophecy of this ninth year and the tenth month and the tenth day came to pass almost three years later. In the twelfth year, the tenth month, uh, and the fifth day. But let me assure you, Jesus Christ shortened the time of the king of Babylon. The king of Babylon does not have three and a half years any longer. This parable you were instructed to absorb from the tenth fast as it would apply to ten men or women taking hold of the skirt of a Kenite and saying, let us go to Jerusalem for we have heard that God is with you. I say. So therefore, I assure you, take this solemn fast day very serious only in as much as we know that 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 has happened is on God's plan and time that it happened September the 20th the fast of the seventh month uh, so be advised be warned no man knows the time the date or the hour I do not know in this three-year period what day this particular day will fall upon but I do know it is my responsibility to see that you are mentally prepared to stand that day against the false Christ. You are to be a champion of your people if you have ears to hear. The Holy Spirit wants to use you. Like many of you have never experienced the Holy Spirit before in reality. A useful purpose uh, to use you to direct his people that time is upon us. 